welcome to my beanbag today we're going to talk about how to start calisthenics now i've been training for about a year and three months give or take and this is just my personal opinion my advice i'd give to any beginner starting out about how to approach your first year of training just sort of give you a broad guideline on how to go about it it can be quite overwhelming in the beginning there's so many things you can do and social media is just flooded with people at the top of the sport doing planches and maltesers over and over again and you're just like stuck at the beginning trying to get your first handstand don't get discouraged by that if you like me and your goal is to one day get to that level you got to understand that it's going to take a lot of years and patience is key so this is going to be a very short video just sort of detailing how to go about your first year what skills to work towards or what moves to aim for first that sort of thing the first six months i'll call your foundational phase and this is where you can focus on getting stronger building your base and working on some very basic static holds you want to utilize the basics the push-ups pull-ups dips pseudo push-ups hollow body holds toaster bar all that good jazz to get stronger and to sort of prepare your body for the more advanced skills you're going to try later on this is going to help you so much when it comes to not getting injured later on practice the basics get stronger make sure you have perfect form i promise if you do pipe push-ups a good form your hands and push-ups are going to feel the benefit and vice versa if you one of those guys that hump the floor and you do pseudo push-ups and then you wonder why you can't get the 90 degree hold I have my suspicions a quick side note if you're like me and you came from a different sporting coat it doesn't mean you can skip this phase because your body isn't accustomed to moving around your body weight so if you start doing some strenuous poses like a tuck planche there's a good chance you might get injured and your shoulder joint isn't ready for that sort of thing even if you're doing bench press shoulder press all that other stuff before it's not the same i mean i used to do a lot of bench press back in the day if i try to go bench now and do the same numbers i used to there's a very high probability i'm going to tear my pec because my body is so much more geared up to doing hands and push-ups and calisthenics exercises now. Then the two beginner static holds you can also work towards in your first six months is the handstand and the ulcer. Both of these are just awesome full body exercises that every beginner should know. So to summarize, your first six months, get stronger by utilizing the basics. Try to get your handstand and ulcer as solid as possible. And now for the second six months, things get a bit more exciting. We can work towards three dynamic moves. And by dynamic, I don't mean freestyle. I just mean like exercises where your body's in motion, you're not holding in one position. And then also two more advanced static holds. So the three dynamic moves are the ulcer into a handstand, the handstand into a 90 degree hold, and the muscle up. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna be able to get this within your first year. Maybe it takes you a little bit longer. Maybe it takes you a little bit shorter. Everyone's sort of different. Don't get discouraged. I just think that you'll be able to start working towards these skills. And then the two advanced static holds are the tuck planche and the tuck front lever. Don't stop doing the basics. You should always have a day or so in your week where you practice the basics and keep on working on that. It's going to help you not get injured. Don't fall in love with just trying to do skills and completely neglect the basics. Very important. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sort of detailing how to learn the exercises, just sort of what to go for. I can make separate tutorials on how to do a muscle up or the ulcer into a handstand, that sort of thing. But if you can get all those moves down, I think you're officially past the beginner phase and now you have a solid platform to springboard off of and learn new skills that you takes your attention that you want to learn. So say you want to learn the human flag or the Hefesto, I think now you have quite a good platform to sort of build off of. Just remember not to try to do too many things at once because that's going to slow down your progress. Choose one or two skills at most and really focus on that. That's what I'd recommend to any beginners starting out with calisthenics. Those are the basic foundation moves I'd go for. I hope that helps to sort of give you some sort of structure on how to approach your first year. I know it's a very quick short video. A lot of people, they just get so like caught up in all the things you can't possibly do. And I did that in the beginning. I tried to do way too many things at once. I didn't, I completely neglected the basics at a point. And I think it also really slowed down my progress. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to making more videos again. Sorry, I've been on a bit of a hiatus, but now I'm back and ready to get after it. Just